I don't even know if I'm gonna post this vlog. I'm just vlogging it just because I want to. But it just seems really personal and a lot to share. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. So I'm finally doing it. Switching over to the tank. It's kind of bittersweet. And I'm getting a whole bunch of accessories and spending money that I shouldn't be spending. That's okay. Yeah! Show the back, show the back. I got the silver. Aren't y'all excited? I guess we helped her. Handsome girl. <laughs> now nah, look, you are going you on YouTube now, yeah, Wayne. Single, Wayne. He is very single. Wayne's single, y'all. Well, yep, I got it in the yep. Matt does not. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a flight to catch tonight. It's going to work. <laughs> catch flights not feelings. I want some feelings though. Shoot. Anyways, Chris wanted to be in it. Chris needs a girlfriend too, right? <laughs> Look, she's backing out. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Chris, give yourself a shout out. Tell them to come visit you. Shout out everybody in Forest Hills. Come to Rise and Wild Forest Hills. Get an upgrade. Get you a new device. <laughs> They're very nice here at Forest Hills. So if you're in New York, Queens, Forest Hills, come to Verizon. All right, y'all. We are off. Time to go to work. It's like 5.48, walking to the shuttle stop. My report time isn't until 7.05, but um, I figured let me just get there a little early so I can get on board early and prep. Um, I need to run down to the crew lounge and get some of the paperwork that I need for working uh, first class today. And oh yeah, um, why it's so dark? Where's the street lights? I think I had mentioned that this month I wasn't working any of like the number one positions, but I ended up switching a few of my trips this month to the number one position and this is gonna be one of them. So this is my first time working the number one position and I'm nervous again. I just finished a four day trip, but as the number two, but I felt really good about it and now I'm nervous again, but hey, it's okay. Um, I was looking, the other girl I'm working with, she's my number two. She's been here for like a year and then the other two people that are going to be working the core cabin are super senior, like 15 years plus. So we'll see how that goes. Sometimes, you know, super senior people are super senior <laughs> it's the best way that i can say that anyways it's a little chilly out so i'll see y'all on the aircraft made it to san francisco when i was here last time i looked way happier than this i'm just not a nighttime person y'all and <sighs> the flight was long <laughs> technical difficulties in the beginning so we didn't back away from the gate when we were supposed to it was just a long flight and I want to go to sleep. It's like, what time is it? It's 1 a.m. here in San Francisco, 4 a.m. New York time. I'm about to go die in that bed, okay? Good night. See y'all tomorrow. Be in a better mood tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. I am finally up. It's super late. Like, it is 1028 in San Francisco. That means it's like 1.30 in New York but I don't I was tired y'all like so tired I woke up this morning feeling like I was like in a hidden room like somebody smacked me and ran like my body felt like bricks but anywho I am headed down to the gym to get a good workout in then I'm gonna find some adventures for San Francisco so workout was great now I'm hungry and there's like no microwaves available in this hotel brought my food again I was gonna you know chow down have a good time not spending any money and obviously they don't have any microwaves because they want me to buy their expensive food in this hotel and I'm not doing it I'm, I'm not doing it so I'm uh, I'm about to get creative <laughs> I don't know he said he's gonna call me back and see if they have any extra microwaves and send one up which would be really good because 
I don't like this. The food here is crazy, ridiculously expensive. I don't have time for that. So maybe I'll just hop in the shower and um, go find something outside that's cheap. Yeah. They sent our microwave, y'all. So I am happy. I'm pleased. I was never going to complain, but this just made me even happier. All right. Well, I've made my mind up. I'm going to go to Fisherman's Wharf because they have food. <laughs> The first time I came to San Francisco, I think I was 15 or 16 with mommy, brother, and my stepdad, and we went to Fisherman's Wharf. We did a lot of things, actually, while we were here, but um, I really loved it so much, and y'all know I'm a seafood connoisseur, so I'm going to go out there today. They have the hop on, hop off bus tour that like takes you to like all of like the touristy places. Um, it's like $52. was going to do that one, but as y'all know, with these mint trips, these first class flights, we do a lot of the same destinations. So I am literally going to be in San Francisco and LAX like all the time, especially because I'm so junior. The other destinations that we do go a little more senior. So California is going to be like my second home now. So. I don't want to do everything in one trip and then have nothing else to do after that. So, yeah, let's go to people. It's a camera. <laughs> let's go to Fisherman's Wharf and have a little fun and then I'm just going to come back and relax at the hotel. So, I'm in Union Square, San Fran, and it's giving me a mix of like, ooh, camera store. I gotta go over there. Um, <laughs> sidetrack. It's giving me a mix of like, I don't know why I'm feeling like New Orleans vibes. Like, it's kind of giving me that feel. And, um, a little bit of like Times Square-ish. It's kind of cute. Oh, there's an H&M. This is where I'm supposed to be turning to catch this trolley. So, let's go. change right mm, but I smell food and oh god it smells so good Tapsters. Oh, they have all kind of lobster rolls surf and turf dogs mm. okay let's see don't go to the first places keep moving <laughs> oh wow mm -hmm. on my run back down to aisle three pick yourself up another deck and I'll be more than happy to exchange it for you. So when I got back with the second deck, I asked him the same I question. Cash. If I could open it up to check it. And that's when I noticed that it was also one of those decks that hadn't been printed. So I mentioned I really want to do right? I said, I think they sent you the whole box. And they forgot to print the whole box. He said, don't you see the faces on the front side? In the backs on the back side i said no you really got to convince me he said hand me the deck then he gave it a cut and started to show me what looked like a deck of playing cards matter of fact every time he cut them it definitely looked like he was holding a deck matter of fact when he rippled them from hand to hand he definitely had a 52 deck of playing cards sitting in his hands he said i'll take them just so I don't end up with one of those decks you got from the factory that they forgot to print. Then he proceeded to take the deck at the time, folks, and run it right back into the box. Then he sends me on my way, and would you believe this? When I got here, 
I offered to do a card trick for an audience. And when I took the deck out, I was really embarrassed because I was standing with one of those decks that hadn't been printed. Right! Maybe portraits? Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> How much are these? Uh, the prices will be right back there. They all vary on the different sizes and the number of people. For a small, it's 99 I want a giant. Oh, a thousand dollars. I want one with me and Aspen in Denver. But how cute are these? So you just stand in there and then it scans you. And then they print it. They're all 3D printed. Sandstone powder and what? Resin. Resin. So basically it's powder really. Powder and glue? Yeah. Do they break easily? Um, I mean, they all get handled every day, so they're not that. They're not too fragile. So if you were to drop it from the height, then yeah, they'd probably. Yeah. So cool. Oh my gosh. Did she come like every time? Yeah. So that's that two, four, six, eight months, and then the four months. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? That's so cool. Right now, that's their only location. But I want to say when I was in um, Vegas in the mall, I thought I saw something like that, but I didn't take the time to look. So, but that is super cool. Could you imagine having all these little figurine fixtures of your own self? <laughs> Conceited. Dangerous store to come into. Chocolate. Now y'all know I just got suckered. One for Denver, one for Aspen. Wait, oh, the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. So crazy. I will buy anything for my dogs. For me, I'm like, yeah, I don't really need that. For the dogs, we gotta go home with something for my babies. <laughs> <laughs> I support the four basic foods. It's milk chocolate, chocolate milk, hot chocolate, chocolate fudge. I'm all the way down to that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen pasta in the shape of men's genital area. What? That has to be like for a bachelorette party or something where y'all having some kinky pasta. Lord, the things people come up with, that is so funny. I should get me something. So I went ahead and treated myself. I shouldn't, <laughs> but I'm going to. It's a um, Rice Krispie Treat covered in chocolate with M&Ms. Oh God. Mm-hmm, it's good. Just like I thought it would be. <laughs> it's only 2 p.m. And I think I pretty much walked the whole Fisherman's Wharf. I'm gonna go over here to Pier 39. Maybe get some food. But then there's Alcatraz Island, right? Across the way over there. I don't know if I should go or not. Where do you buy the tickets? I've been once before. But you know. That was 15 years ago. I should probably go again. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do Alcatraz today. We'll save that for an, another day. Just pace yourself, girl. You're gonna be here all the time. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go eat and make my way back to the hotel. Maybe lay out by the pool there. I keep wanting to lay out by a pool and I'm never doing it on my layovers. Like, I don't know what my hesitation is. So, let's go see if I can do that. Okay, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. There are so many restaurants out here. I don't know which one to choose. Um,
me and Fawn are here together one day and drag her to Alcatraz. <laughs> Put her in prison. <laughs> Woo, that's funny. Um, but yeah, it's cute. She gets here tonight. She doesn't get here until midnight. She's working a different trip, but I leave at seven in the morning, so obviously we won't be. And I think she's at a different hotel too. So, but one of these days, we will have a layover at around at around the same time and I'll be able to drag her places because all she does is lay in bed and eat on her layovers. She's so boring. Okay, time to find some food. Found a destination, Skomas. I asked a few people on the corner and this is where they pointed me to. So, let's hope it's good. I can only imagine it's good. I Googled best restaurants near me and this was I think number two on the list so time to eat time to eat you can't come to fisherman's wharf and not eat seafood so my lunch that i cooked and brought like i ate one of them kudos to me i'm gonna eat this now and then i'll have the other for dinner tonight right we're balancing it out okay i'm full as a tick the i forgot the name of the the dish that i had but it was good and um now i'm ready to go I want to go lay in my bed. I'm tired again. Oh, but this is fun. I've enjoyed it. The views out here are amazing. But I'm really glad I decided to take my time because I have another trip here in like two weeks. I'm on call next week. My five reserve days for the month. <laughs> I have those next week. So we'll see what they do with me. But after that, I have a trip back here. So. Maybe I'll go to Alcatraz, or maybe I'll go to the, the bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. It's over there. Decided to get a character done. I'm hearing that it's looking pretty good. We'll see the results in a bit. I'm back to the hotel. I can't decide between taking a nap or going to lay by the pool decisions decisions oh but let me show you the my artwork it came out pretty good right you got my shades kind of looks like me yeah it's cute never mind i'm not going to anybody's pool because i don't have my swimsuit obviously alexia see that's why you have to keep the swimsuit in your bag I took it out the other day for who knows what reason, and now it's not in there. Oh well, I guess that means I can take a little nap. It's 4.30. I don't want to sleep too long because we have a early van time. What time is the van? <laughs> the van comes at 5.05 a.m. So, shoot. I can still take a, a miniature nap. I'm just tired, I need a nap. Yeah, I'm nap. Good, lovely Sunday morning. KCM was down, so I had to go through the regular pre-check line. It's always a hassle. Take off your shoes. Take off your bangles. Take out your cell phone. Y'all know. <laughs> just annoying when you have everything all packed up and you just wanna keep it rolling. But hey, I am here ready to work the flight here to san francisco was a good seven hours i'm hoping today we can get back a lot quicker hoping for like five and a half hours let's see what good old captain has for me and yeah carry on with the circle all right service is done all the customers have been fed now it's time for me to eat yeah is served I just did two of the meal options. I have the grilled avocado top with scrambled eggs and salsa verde and some cheese. And then I have our citrus with kiwi and pomegranate. And then a chocolate croissant with a glass of cranberry juice. Nom, 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 nom. I just get to sit here in my jump seat, um, enjoy my meal, and watch the cabin and make sure everything's good. We have about, oh yeah, we got a way shorter flight time. It's four hours and 15 minutes. 
thank the heavens. I think we have about two and a half hours left to go. So it's not bad. Then I'm gonna go take a good nap once I get back to New York. Alrighty guys, so made it back to New York. And as y'all can see, it's raining. <sighs> I am um my back. Ouch. My back is killing me. I don't know. It's been hurting actually for a few weeks now. I don't know if I've like pulled a muscle or what, but I'm about to go get me a little icy hot pack, put it on my back, and um, take a nap. Thanks for watching this vlog. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, bye! Hey y'all. So, I've been having this really bad back pain. Well, it's just gotten gradually worse over the past few weeks, but it's been hurting for a while. And so I came home from my trip today and I bought these um, heating pad things that like go on your back or whatever. Uh, I guess wherever on your body that's hurting. Um... Yeah, patent heat cells for deep penetrating heat, back pain therapy. It says, trolax tight muscles and enhanced flexibility and mobility provides a blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so I put that on and I took a nap and it doesn't feel any better. And every time I take a deep breath, it hurts so bad. And it's just one side of my back, like mid back on the side, on the left side. So, I called my mommy and I told her I wanted to come home so I could go to the doctor. And she told me, no, I need to go to the hospital here, which I don't want to go. I started crying because, like, I don't want to go to the hospital alone. First of all, I'm not the type of person that I never go to the doctor. Only for, like, you know, the, the normal checkups, Wimbley checkups, normal checkups. And then an allergy shot once a year. Like, literally, that's all I go to the doctor for. Anything else, I'm like, no, you know, I can I can just make it through. But this hurts so bad. And I'm not crying because I have to go to the doctor. I'm just crying at the thought of, like, I want to go alone. Um, that's one thing that I didn't consider doing this whole flight attendant thing. I guess, you know, you do consider being gone and all that stuff, but... When it comes down to wanting to be with family or having family by your side in moments like this and they can't just get to you ASAP. Or well, not even family because my uncle is on his way to come get me because I was like, I'm not going to the hospital alone. Like, I'm not doing that. But I want my mommy. <laughs> like, there's nobody else that I would want with me right now other than my mother. So that truthfully sucks. Like, it sucks. She's in Houston, Texas. I'm in New York. Like, she can't get to me like like that. She's like, well, if you take an ambulance, they'll, they'll see you faster than just, like, walking in. And I'm like, I know you're right, but I'm not getting in nobody's ambulance. I watch too much TV. Bad things happen. <laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh, y'all. But um, I'm just waiting for my uncle. He's coming from the Bronx. And, um... I'll probably be in the hospital all night long now, but I need to get it checked out. My cousin Katie in Atlanta, she's a nurse, so I called her and um, told her my symptoms and everything, and she gave me this list of stuff to tell the doctors once I get there about family history and PEs and DVEs and or, stuff that I don't even know she just texted to me I'll just show them the list of everything I'm really hoping it's just a muscle spasm something's telling me it's not just a muscle spasm so if I really thought it was just a muscle spasm I wouldn't be going but the way these deep breaths hurt and the way it's been hurting for a long time and it's just kind of getting worse I gotta go. I was thinking maybe I wasn't drinking enough water, but I drink water all day long. And I was thinking maybe, you know, I've been working out again, so I might have tweaked something. But I don't know. It just feels, it don't feel right. So I'm gonna do the big girl thing and suck it up and go.
All right, my uncle is here. He must have been speeding because he got here really fast. <laughs> He's like, can you walk? Do I need to come carry you? No, I can walk. Thank the Lord. But this back is on fire. I'll give y'all an update later. To the hospital. Yeah, with my up? uncle. Yo. <laughs> um, she's fine. She's here to get, taking seven. So yeah, it's, like, it's gonna be a while. He's on the phone with my mommy, uh, checking in. Oh, I'm finally in. Just took my blood pressure and temperature and all that stuff. No fever. All of that is normal. I'm gonna do a full workup because of my family history of PEs and DVTs and blood clot history. All of that. <sighs> and just hope for the best. I hope. We're praying for the best. I hate this. <laughs> I hate every bit of this. I feel like I'm on Grey's Anatomy in the ER room and Dr. Um, what's her name with the red hair? That Mary Jackson that had the baby and that loves the Lord but it's like, <laughs> y'all watch Grey's Anatomy? Anyways, this is not a good feeling but <sighs> So I got an EKG. Now it's time to go get an x-ray and a CAT scan over this. Did the EKG, they took blood, they did the CAT scan, two CAT scans, and um, the x-rays. So I'm assuming I'm just waiting on my lovely results. Hopefully everything comes back negative and it's just a muscle spasm. God, please let it just be a muscle spasm. I can't even deal with anything else after this, man. But yeah, um, I don't even know if I'm going to post this vlog. I'm just vlogging it just because I want to. But it just seems really personal and a lot to share. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Is it weird, y'all? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I decide to post it or not. Maybe. Do you all be going to I know? Do you? We'll see. Okay. So all tests came back normal. Thank the heavens. No PEs, kidney stones, nothing. Nothing crazy going on. Just muscle spasms. So that just means I'm going to have to take it a little easier in the gym. <laughs> um, yeah. So she's going to give me some muscle relaxer and some pain meds and I'll be on my way. Made it back home. It's about, I think I got it released about 5.30. So I was there from 11.30 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. And I'm tired. So grateful that I'm okay. Oh, thank you, Lord. So they prescribed me some muscle relaxer and some painkillers. I took some of the muscle relaxer and it's it's already kicking in, which is good because now I just have to go and pick up my prescription. Once CVS opens, I'm off for the rest of the day. And then I start um, my five-day reserve block Tuesday. So, oh, what a day. <laughs> It's so crazy. It's 5.53 now. Within a full 24 hours, I woke up in San Francisco, worked a flight from San Francisco back to New York, went to the hospital, everything's okay. Now I'm back at home about to go to sleep. And I still have three more hours to make that a 24-hour day. <laughs> well, really like two, two and a half, two. Really like two hours to make that a 24 hour day so yeah y'all just gotta make sure you're taking care of yourself I guess I've been going a little too hard in the gym for my 30 by 30 um but I asked the doctor if it was okay for me to keep working out and she just said yes just you know go a little lighter make sure that my bag isn't too heavy to lift which my bags are always heavy and I'm always lifting them and assisting people with li lifting their bags so you know, I'm just going to make sure that I'm doing right by me. I got to take care of me and my poor mommy. She's so nervous. So the the reason that I really, really wanted to go, because in my heart, I kind of felt like it was just muscle spasms. But my grandmother um, passed away from heart attacks because of blood clots. My mother had blood clots in her lungs about a few years ago, and she still takes medicine for it. So it is, you know, just something that runs in the family. So I called my cousin and, you know, all of that. And they just, they really, really wanted me to go. And I felt like I just needed to go just to be on the safe side. So 
better safe than sorry anyways next vlog is not gonna be about me being sick in the hospital that is for sure <laughs> i don't know what it's gonna be about but it ain't gonna be that anyways talk to y'all later bye